This is SAT test 2, calculator question number 20. College Board gives us a regular hexagon and a square with sides of length A. And the area of the hexagon is given as 384 root 3 square inches. What is the area in square inches of the hexagon? There is an algebraic way of finding the exact area of the hexagon in terms of A setting that equal to 384 root 3 and that allows us to solve for A but there's an easier way of doing this. A regular hexagon can be divided into equilateral triangles and this gives us a parallelogram right here where the area of the parallelogram is less than the area of the square. The square and the parallelogram both have sides of length A but since the parallelogram has an angle of 60 degrees here, the base is the same as the square, but the height is less, so the area will be less. Since this hexagon is divided into three equal parallelograms, that means that the area of the square is going to be more than one-third of the area of the hexagon. Because each parallelogram is one-third of the area of the hexagon and the square is larger. So if I find the area of the hexagon, 384 root 3, and I divide that by 3, 384 root 3, divided by 3 is 221. The area of the square has to be greater than 221.7-ish. And the only answer choice greater than 221 is choice A, so that would be the correct answer. This is much easier than finding the exact area. I'm using the fact that I know this parallelogram has an area less than A squared. But let's do an exact computation. College Board is unlikely to ask for something that hard. It's already question 20, even taking a look at that shortcut. If I look at just one of the six equilateral triangles that the hexagon is divided into, where this is a right angle, our special right triangles tell us that since dividing a 60 degree angle in half gives us 30 degrees. The height h is a times square root of 3 over 2. We can get that from the formula at the start of each math section or from the memorized values in the unit circle. The area of a triangle is 1 half the base, and the base of this entire triangle is A, times the height, which is A root 3 over 2. So the area of each triangle is A squared root 3 over 4. We have six of them, so all six triangles is 6 times A squared root 3 over 4, and that's also the area of the hexagon. So 6 a squared root 3 over 4 equals 384 root 3. Root 3 cancels, and a squared equals 384 times 4, and then divided by 6. That allows us to solve for a squared 384 times 4 over 6 is 256 which is the answer I found by estimation. Estimation is the easier approach, but the algebraic approach also gives us the correct answer. Here we used special right triangles, which are in the formula sheets at the start of the math section, and the area of a square and the area of a triangle, and some general knowledge from geometry that a regular hexagon divides into six equilateral triangles. College Board often asks about the special right triangles and the area of a rectangle, 
but this is probably a harder area question than most. Come back soon for my next math video. With math, there's always more.